What's up guys, Cornered here. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of the iPhone 6S. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Now, as usual, when you do an unboxing you see all the parts inside, but I just unboxed it. So, to start off with, this is the iPhone 6S. And how would you tell? Well, the only way you can really tell that this is a 6S or the 6S Plus is obviously the only way you can tell is if you have that special color, which is the rose gold, or you look in the back, which gives you the indication that this is the S model of V6. And they really didn't do anything to the design. It looks the same. But what they've done to this device, and what I really like is the fact that they've upgraded both the front and the back facing camera. The front facing camera they've upgraded to five megapixels, which is quite nice. But the back is really what I'm concerned about. They upgraded that to a 12 megapixel camera, which is really nice because it shoots at 4K and it colors look more vibrant on it. People are really giving it good ratings. So I will be doing a general overview and look at this in a next video. But as far as the upgrade is concerned, 4K video is awesome. I don't recommend getting a 16 gig version like this for 4K, by the way. I recommend getting the 64 or 128 gig because at that point you really should focus on storage because 4K takes up a lot of space. Another thing that they've added, which to me is kind of like a gimmick, is they've added something called 3D Touch. And to me it's a gimmick, it's like a right click on a mouse, but it does work effectively. So for example, I could go ahead and focus. I could go ahead and open up Safari if I wanted to. So I could click on Safari right there. So that'll open up Safari. Or I could actually, if I wanted to get some more options available, I could click on Safari and hold it down. And as you can see, what it does is it gives me a, a feedback that obviously you can't really hear, but it gives me feedback and it feels like I'm clicking a mouse. And as you can see, I have show reading list, show bookmarks, new private tab, new tab, and they add little features to everything that you're doing. I'm not going to show you the email part, but if you actually were to go on an email, hold down your index finger or thumb, you can actually get a preview of that email. And I just don't want to show any of the personal emails on here. But that is really it as far as the changes are concerned. Yes, they've added features to iOS 9, which is nice. But I could do that in another video and we could talk about that all day. But understand that the main reason people want to upgrade is they've upgraded the cameras on the front and the back. They've added force touch onto it, or 3D touch, if you will. And they've also, which I think is the main reason to upgrade, they've sped this thing up. It's really, really fast. I, it's one of the fastest Apple products I've used. And it's really nice to see the difference. They've upgraded it to two gigs of RAM, they also have a, I believe it's a 1.8 gigahertz A9 processor, processor, which really works very nicely. Now, for those of you who say, oh, I have Android, I have four gigs of RAM, yeah. Yes, you do, and yes, it works, And but this deals with memory a little bit different. So, I will also be doing a video on why I switched from Android to iOS, and we can talk about that in later videos, but just understand, if you're looking for speed, if you're looking for camera, a good camera, and if you're if you really like the idea of having a right click on an iPhone, this is the phone for you. Other than that, it's not worth the upgrade if you have the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6 Plus unless those features really matter to you. But this is a general overview of the iPhone. Very simple, very straightforward. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I will be doing an in-depth review and more look on everything and probably upgrading the camera that's recording this now. So thank you guys very much for watching this and definitely stay tuned for more videos.